My wife and I have been married for 20 years. We got married three weeks after we graduated college. We had our ups and downs, but at the end of the night, I always felt just that much closer to her than the night before. My feelings for her never died away, but after we moved into the new house three months ago, my wife has started growing more and more distant from me. It started with her ignoring a couple of things I said, to blowing off on our monthly date. Now she will barely talk to me. Of course I had my suspicions, I mean who wouldn't? That's why, when my wife was out on her daily walk yesterday, I texted her that I was going shopping and I would be back soon. I quickly got into my car and drove to the local electronics store. When a sales representative greeted me, I told him that I would need a couple of hidden cameras. He gave me a nod and led me to the middle of the sales floor. With a wave of his arm, he started to pitch me on the most expensive set. When he saw the look of concern on my face, he gave me a smile and asked, So, what's your budget? Trying to hide the embarrassment in my voice, I managed to mutter, $300? After a couple of seconds, he stuck out his hand and said, My name is Jack, by the way. I took his hand and said, Glenn. With a look of concern, he asked, So, I know it may be personal. So, I know that this may be a personal question, but why are you getting these cameras? Now, I'm normally a very reserved man. I've never been one to open up to anyone, but something about his voice. The soft yet stern words that left the man's mouth made me fall on my knees and start sobbing. With a gentle nudge, Jack said, Come on to the back, man. Let's talk, I want to help you. I got up to my feet and quietly followed him to the door in the back, while avoiding all of the weird stares from other customers. Once we walked through the doors, I saw a small room with a table and two chairs. Jack pulled out a chair and I sat in it, while he took the other seat. Before he could ask me again, I rambled on for what felt like hours about what my wife used to be like and how she was now. As I got close to the end of my story, I felt another surge of tears, but Jack gently touched my shoulder, and I felt all of my grief fade away. I looked up at him, and for the first time in three months, I smiled. He told me to wait up front and he would bring me what I was looking for. After waiting for 10 minutes at the front counter, Jack walked through the doors with a small white box in his hands. While he walked up to the counter, he started opening up the box and as he walked up to me, he put the box in my hands and told me to look inside. Inside of the box were three small monkey glass figurines and a small device with a screen. I started to ask, what am I su But Jack cut me off and said, these three little guys run off of solar power and will never need to be charged. This guy is the monitor. You can watch what any of the cameras see. The monitor you will have to charge once every two or three days depending on the usage. He leaned close to me and whispered, Now, it's normally 1400 for the set, but I'll let you have it for 300 Just don't say a word while I ring it up. When he rung up the camera set, I handed him $300, and he reached into his wallet and swiped it into the card reader. With a nod, he said, Okay, sir, just sign the pad and you're ready to go. I signed the pad with my finger, and he put the box and the receipt in the bag and handed it over to me. I mouthed out a quick thank you and hurried into my car. Slightly curious, I opened the box and turned the screen on. For the first couple of seconds, the screen remained black, but after a couple of seconds of waiting, the screen turned yellow and four blue lines shot out of each corner and met in the middle to form two words. Reveal everything. I picked up one of the little figurines and started looking around for cameras. When I couldn't find any, I looked back at the screen and camera one and camera three were black, while camera two showed my face staring dumbly at myself in the screen. Satisfied, I drove back home and placed the camera in the living room, the kitchen and our bedroom. My wife walked in from her walk around 7pm and started to walk upstairs. I asked her if she wanted to eat dinner, but she just ignored me and continued to walk upstairs and into the room. 
When I woke up this morning, I got out of bed, got dressed and rushed out of the house without saying a word to my wife. 20 minutes later, I got to work about an hour early. I grabbed the monitor and walked into the office and sat down. I checked the cameras but saw that my wife was still fast asleep. Three hours go by without an alert. I still checked on the monitor but my wife was still asleep. Around lunchtime was when I got my first motion alert. I quickly turned the screen back on and saw my wife slowly getting out of bed and walking downstairs. My eyes bounced to the camera pointing at the living room toward the front door, but my wife just sat on the couch for about 30 minutes. That's when I saw it. Tiny black spots started to show up all around the living room. At that moment, my wife started to curl into a ball on the couch. I thought it was the camera or the screen, so I tried slapping the back of the monitor, but every couple of seconds the dots started grouping together. Each time the black dots grouped together, I noticed my wife tensing up even more. I tried calling my wife several times, but she only looked at the phone before putting it on the table and stared towards the dots grouping together. I turned the screen off and wrote an email to my boss that I had an emergency and I would have to leave before running to my car. When I got inside my car, I turned the monitor back on and saw my wife walking all around the house, but there was a shadow following behind her. When she opened the door to our room, the shadow disappeared. I started driving home while still glancing at the screen to make sure my wife was okay. I drove into the entrance to our neighborhood and parked in my driveway before checking the screen one last time. The tablet dropped out of my hands as soon as I saw what was on the screen. A man with a deep red gash in his neck was bent over the body of my wife. Blood was everywhere. I ran into our house and ran upstairs. My wife is dead. Her midsection was completely extinct by the time I ran into the room. I looked around the house, but I knew that we were the only ones in the house that can be seen. I gave the cops the monitor for investigative purposes. After being interviewed for four hours, I was finally able to find a hotel to spend the next couple of nights in. My wife is gone. My life is ruined. I took one of the cameras with me when I walked out of the house. When I smashed it against the wall out of frustration, I saw only broken glass. Nothing else. Just glass. So please, guys, help me. I don't know what to do.